Welcome to the Vegas PBS Arts Summer Showcase. I'm Donny Osmond, headliner with my sister Marie at the world famous Flamingo Las Vegas. And I'm gonna be your host for the next 30 minutes as we get a behind the scenes look at the rich diversity of art, music, and performance that keeps Las Vegas pulsing with energy both on the strip and beyond. We're gonna laugh out loud with the new Mr. Vegas, the man with the best 10 p.m. show in town. Then, consider yourself one of the family with the Super Summer Theater and Oliver, the musical. And then we're gonna catch the vibe on the street with Downtown's First Friday. Underneath the Strip's neon lights, incredible shows come and go. But Las Vegans can officially call this performer one of our own. You might know him by the billboards calling out the best 10 p.m. show in town. I personally know him as my dear friend. I mean, he's always thinking. He's always laughing. He's the new Mr. Vegas, Mr. George Wallace. Ladies and gentlemen, the funniest man in America, George Wallace. George Wallace. Before I was born, I knew I wanted to be a comedian. I didn't even come out of my mother's womb until the doctor said, five minutes, Mr. Wallace. Come on, put your hands together, let's have a good time. Yeah. A little bit of music. You see me do that little dance? And comedians are crazy people. We just, we just love to take any moment and put a twist on it. But that's what comedy is all about. Take something true and enhance it. Please welcome Oprah Winfrey. I wanted to be a comedian since I was six years old, watching Red Fox, Red Skelton, Red Budden, and Pinky Lee. Here I am in New York City. New York City, I love this town. It's a great town. I started coming in 1976. How y'all doing, Soul Brother? Yeah. All right, I'm representing Uptown. When I started, uh, most of the comedy clubs around America, they were white, so they didn't want a black comic in there. Well, we're not concerned with where we're from. We're concerned that we're here tonight to have a good time, right? I have paved the way. I was one of the first people that could work coming to clubs around America. And all you people that live around here, it's okay to take your Christmas lights down. <laughs> My comedy is from, uh, I guess it's mostly observational. It starts with your parents and home, your mother saying things like, you're getting on my last nerve. And I'm thinking, well, why didn't you say some five, six nerves ago? You know, your mom's always saying something to me. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you to take that garbage out. Well, thank God. We didn't have an ATM. We had to go to the M-O-M. <laughs> you want to know what keeps me going night after night after night? Until I'm dead. Laughter. And the M-O-M would send you to the D-A-D. <laughs> and that's when you knew you were S-O-L. <laughs> laughter is the greatest medicine in the world. Do you know that was a study taken? Little kids laugh up to 400 times a day. But for some reason, as we grow older, we stop laughing. And I teach people every day, starting tonight, at the George Wallace I Be Thinking Show, we're gonna start laughing more. Let me ask you people a question. When you go to an intersection in this city, the light changes to yellow. What's the legal limit here? Eight, nine, ten cars can go through. <laughs> I think it's the greatest thing in the world to uh, uh, make people happy. And when I see happy people, it makes me happier. So I love what I do. And by the way, the Dow Jones was down yesterday. I don't even know who Dow Jones is. I know he's very moody. My ultimate goal was to work Las Vegas. For me, this is what I always wanted to do, was work here. I came to Las Vegas for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and I'm into my ninth year. What a blessing. And thank you, Las Vegas, for letting me become a part of your community. I'm George Wallace. I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. From the new Mr. Vegas to the king of Latin jazz, one local musician and his band are lighting up the live music scene wherever they play. So put on your salsa shoes, because Rick Arroyo's award-winning rhythms are sure to make you move your feet. 
to define Latin jazz, it's, it's, a, it's a melting pot. Straight ahead jazz, salsa, rhythms from Spain, from Cuba, from Africa, and you put them all together, and that's Latin jazz. I've been playing music since I was 11 years old. I composed my first song in 1978. I think I was 12 years old. When I started playing Latin music, I was very young. We put a band together. We actually rehearsed in my mother's record store, and we'd perform all around Los Angeles. And I got my feet wet into salsa and Latin jazz. I was very inspired actually from my mother, Ray Arroyo. She was a, a well-known disc jockey for about 28 years on the radio. And she got me very into uh, Latin music, jazz, classical, all kinds of styles of music. And the funny thing is she's a huge influence on many, many musicians as well. My name is Dwayne Matos and I play Latin percussion. Actually, I met Rick in, uh, I believe, 1997. He came over to me and he was like, hey man, I'm, I'm starting a band. And I'm like, really? I said, well, let's do this. When I was young, I had a lot of uh, influences like Jorge Dalto, Eddie Palmieri, Tito Puente. I just took a mix of everything and I would incorporate a lot of these things into my style of playing. Many jazz musicians, many Latin jazz musicians, salsa musicians, you name them, you don't really know who they are. In my, in my opinion, musically, Rick is the only guy where you can listen to his music and know right away who he is. When I wake up, I have music in, in my head and uh, I just have to write it down get these ideas and you just don't want them to go away. And that's what uh, gives me the inspiration to write music. Just came out with a CD. It's called Mr. P, a dedication to Eddie Palmieri, and it's got some fabulous uh, Las Vegas musicians on there, so you definitely want to check that one out. Latin jazz is such a beautiful art form to be able to give, to express, to let people uh, forget about their problems. In fact, when we're playing, <laughs> we're forgetting about our problems as well. Latin music, we have a good time playing it and uh, we enjoy when people come out to watch us. For me, the best thing about being a musician is to see the smiles on everybody's faces. It's beautiful. Now, it's the center of a cultural renaissance in downtown Las Vegas, and the envy of musicians all over the world. But for the Las Vegas Philharmonic, the Smith Center for the Performing Arts is simply home. What is it like to play in such a world-class place? Well, we ask the musicians themselves as they prepare for the final concert of the first season in their incredible new home. This one hall is talked about all over the world. What's special about playing in Reynolds Hall is every nuance and detail in the music is shown in this hall because the acoustics are so perfect. To be in such a great hall 